Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here from uh, Summer Love and Jeep and thanks for tuning in today uh, for this video. Um, so, I got my rear end axle that I won off eBay. It's a uh, Dana 44 Rubicon 4.10 with an uh, e-locker. So, um, I think I've mentioned previously that uh, I have a Sahara. Obviously it came with the uh, Dana 44, Dana 30, 321. So I've been going back and forth, upgrade those gears, keep the Dana 30 in the front, and put in lockers and re-gear. And then looking at prices for like used Dana 44s with lockers, like Rubicons used, it's not too bad. I got a really sick deal on this uh, axle. I think it's 2012. Um, but I plan on re-gearing later on. So. I know, you know, it is used. It's, I think it's got about 70,000 miles on it. I have a 2016 with 34,000 miles. So I think switching over to this axle um, for and not regearing for a year or a year and a half will be fine. So the only thing I have left to do is to try and find a front axle. So that's what I'm working on right now. But uh, let's go check it out, see what you think. It's got a bit of rust, but that's all right. Um, and actually, the one good thing about having the axles off is I have um, Adam's drive shafts already sitting in the shed. So I'm actually going to pull this off and um, do the conversion while it's out of the Jeep, which is a lot easier than do it underneath the Jeep. So that way, then uh, it should go a lot smoother. So what I'm going to do here is end up, I'm going to end up cleaning all this up. I'm probably going to end up repainting it with a uh, Pour 15 um, axle paint um, just to seal it all up, get rid of this rust. But um, yeah, it looks pretty good so far. Uh, I'm going to end up uh, removing the stock diff cover. Um, I have an ARB diff cover that's going to be going on there. We'll inspect the gears, change out the fluids and uh, make sure it's all good to go. There's the e-locker connection. I have the switches on the dashboard already, so it's just running the wires to my switches. Uh, and it came with the control arms. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. So that's the uh, the new axle I got. So short video, but that's where uh, the plan's going right now. That's why I haven't put on the lift on the Jeep yet. Um, so I'm gonna start cleaning this up. And actually, I also have the truss kit uh, that I ordered a long time ago because I was gonna truss the rear uh, Dana 44, but I have that in the shed as well. So I'm gonna end up welding that on cleaning up the rust and then completely repainting the axle with like the I think I said pour 15 they have like an axle I think it's a epoxy or a urethane paint or something like that um, yeah so now I'm just gonna keep looking for the front axle and see if I can score another sweet deal because I don't want to spend that much money and I think deals are out there it's really sunny Uh, so yeah, that's about it. All right, one other thing. I did put my new uh, rims on the Jeep. Um, mounted the tires on the rims. I have 16 inch steelies. They're mounted with uh, Nito Trail Grapplers 315-75 R16. And um, did a match powder coat on the steel rims and they came out pretty sweet. So, give you a quick quick peek on how that looked at and then um, I do the lift installs and everything then I'm just basically gonna go over um, all the different heights 
wanted to see what like the uh, the height of the uh, the wheels are right now and what clearance we have what clearance I have as a stock and it actually is kind of okay just can't really hit that big of a bump because I have rubbed a couple of times but taking it easy and haven't really been going off-road so I'm trying to get this axle project squared away and moving forward so all right thanks for watching if you like this video hit the thumbs up below please subscribe to follow along if you have any questions on uh, the Jeep build leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or even if you have a Dana 44 Rubicon front axle with an e-locker 4.10 gears that's what I'm looking for and if you find any see any anywhere on a Craigslist or something um, shoot me the link because I'm trying to get one all right thanks a lot it is Thursday night I'm off to work I'm working for the next three days I'm gonna try and get out here and do another video tomorrow um, I'm trying to finish up the cargo master side steps that I removed from the last video stand by all right so they came back from the powder coater he uh, sandblasted and stripped them uh, you can see that's the pin I got that out some of these still have this can't get that out so basically what I got sorry for going back and forth uh, stainless steel rod it's a 5 16th inch rod basically I'm gonna replace replace that tension pin that was in here I'm gonna pop that in here and I'm gonna throw a bead or bead weld weld bead around here so it's completely sealed and then I'm gonna weld on the bottom plate and then send it to the power coat and reinstall them and hopefully it's good that's the plan alright so that's probably gonna be the next video I'm gonna try and bang that out quick before my powder coater goes on vacation and then I can get those remounted um, all right have a great night thanks for watching and uh, have a great weekend if I don't see you